Hey guys, what's up? It's Monique and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Almost this entire year, I've been wondering to myself, will they celebrate Halloween in Thailand this year? Well, come with me as we go and explore two places in Bangkok and see for ourselves. Hi guys, so we are on our way to Bangkok um, to go and check out two or three of their Halloween markets and I'm so excited, that's why I got all dressed up. I think it's going to be really fun. One of the places we're definitely going to is called Chocolateville and they've apparently completely like Halloweened it up there with all the decorations and everything so that's going to be very exciting to see. So let's go, it's about an hour's drive but I think it will be very much worth it. The first place we landed up going to was Chocolateville. Now let me tell you, Chocolateville was not at all what I was expecting it to be. And what I mean by that is it was way better than I could have ever imagined it to be. I thought it would be a place that was specifically catered to much younger children. And while it does have a lot for very small children to do, this place had so much to do for absolutely everybody. Now while Chocolateville is open throughout the entire year, there are certain times of the year where they decorate according to the festivities going on for that month, such as Halloween. In my mind, I also thought Chocolateville would be really small, but to my surprise it is actually pretty big and there is a lot to see as you walk around. From the minute you walk in through the ticket counters, it was nothing short of amazing when it came to the Halloween decorations. The entrance fee to Chocolateville is between 120 to 150 Thai baht. This fee gives you access to the entire park. You can also pick one item such as an ice cream, popcorn, soda, a bottle of water or a glow stick when you present your entrance ticket to one of the available kiosks. Now while I'm not sure if Chocolateville is worth the price on a general day, 
unless you do have small children to take with you, I do think it is very much worth it on special occasions where they decorate the place out such as Halloween or Christmas and perhaps New Year's. But for myself personally, I thoroughly enjoyed the Halloween festivities that they had to offer. The second place we decided to try out was Jod Fairs. What makes this market very different to any market I've ever seen in Thailand before is that right behind the market they have a huge castle. And you can have access to the entire market and the castle. You can go inside the castle all the way to the top and all of this is free of charge. But in return, be kind and support the local vendors. They would really love it, I'm sure. For Halloween they had just a few decorations up, they made the castle look a bit spooky and eerie with some little inflatable ghosts. The one section of their night market was fully Halloween themed where you could find the cutest Halloween style cookies and cupcakes and treats and drinks. On a general day, Jod Fairs is a giant night market in Bangkok, open from 4pm until midnight on most days, where you can find a variety of foods, drinks, snacks, accessories and a whole bunch of other goodies. I do feel that Jod Fairs is the complete opposite of Chocolateville. What I mean by that is Chocolateville is extremely fantastic for themed events. Whereas Jod Fairs doesn't particularly go overboard with their decorations during certain holidays and festivities, but it is a really great place to go just on a general day. It is one of those places where you can go multiple times as they have so many different foods and drinks and snacks for you to try. And the ambience is also really, really lovely. They often have live music and places on the grass where you can sit and just relax, enjoy a drink, enjoy the music and just enjoy the nighttime ambience of Bangkok. I can definitely end off on this note. I had an absolute blast celebrating Halloween in Thailand. It was so much fun, they really outdid themselves. It was definitely worth getting dressed up for and seeing so many other people dressed up as well and just enjoying together, enjoying the ambience, the decorations and just having fun. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it.